Hello everyone. So we are continuing with our lead code series in which we are taking top 100 light questions of medium level difficulty. So in this class today or in this video today, we'll start with this uh, question called threesome. So what threesome is given an array integers, you have to find all the triplets like three different values in the array such that the indexes are different. So they are, they has to be at a different index and the sum of all three, these three elements is equals to zero. Right? For example, this is the input, this should be the output. Now the quickly, if you look at the constraint, the number is the length is less than equals to 3000 and number is 10 is power five. By quickly looking at the constraint, we can see that we can write our code in n square or n square log n time, but n cube will not work. Right. But I think uh, if you directly look at this, the simplest way is to just iterate is to just write three for loops and solve it right in brute force. For example, this should be the brute force of this. So let's take n equals to nums dot size for easiness. So this is the first index i. Now second index should start from i plus one. And the third index should start from j plus one. Now what do we do? If nums of i plus nums of j plus nums of k is equals to zero, uh, we also have to take the answer vector. We just uh, uh, we just add create a new vector and we insert it in our answer vectors, which takes nums i, nums j and nums k. Okay. Now uh, this is it. So I can just return answer here. Now if you check it out, let's see what happens. This gives wrong answer. This is very interesting. We are doing brute force, but still it is giving wrong answer. Let's see why. If you look at this minus one, zero, one, and this zero, one, minus one, they both have same set of values, zero, one and minus one. And here also zero, one and minus one. So they are duplicates. Now the question says solution must not contain duplicate triplets. So they are duplicate. That is why this is also wrong. So now what we can do? So, I mean, we need a data structure which, which can store unique data. So we can use set, but what uniqueness we want? We want a unique triplet or in this case, a vector. So I will create a set of a vector. Right. Now, instead of pushing this new vector in the answer, I should push this into the set. So set dot insert. But before inserting, we should sort these values because if we do not sort it, if you see minus one, zero, one and zero, one, minus one are different for the set. But if you sort these two vectors, they become equal. So we should also sort them. So let's first create the vector. And let's then sort it. And just insert it in the set. Now the set will contain only unique elements. Now in the end, what you have to do? You just iterate over your set to find the triplet. And just insert all of those values in the answer variable. Now let's try to run it. Hope I have not made any syntax error. Yep, this worked. But if I go on to submit this code, this will give me TLE. 
why this is giving me TLE because there are three for loops so this code is order n cube right I, let's ignore the complexity of inserting in the set it will be log n but it will be n cube log n and if you see here n is 3000 so the maximum complexity you can afford is either n square or n square log n that's it so the our uh, uh, objective is to reduce these three for loops into two for loops and for that we can go to our drawing board and see how so now let's take the example in the question itself it was minus one zero one two minus one minus four now if we see here so i, I think uh, some of you know the two pointers approach right we will here use two pointers approach so what i will do I will first sort it. So after sorting it, what will I get? Minus one, minus one, or minus four, minus one, minus one, zero, one, two. Now for minus four, for minus four, if you select from here, let's see what are the triplets where sum is zero. So what we will see, we will first do minus one plus two minus 1 plus 2 is 1 1 plus minus 4 is minus 3 so it is less than 0 so we move forward in this direction it is like a two pointer approach if the sum is less than the target move in the right direction if the sum is greater than the target move in the left direction and using this approach we uh, so what we have to do now for each i value we have to find the jk values here so using that we can reduce our uh, three for loops into two for loops. So let's try to code that now. Or let's let's first solve this. Okay, let's first solve this example using that approach. So now we currently uh, previously we were here. Now we go here. Here minus four minus one two it is less than zero. So we go here minus 4 0 2 less than 0 we go here minus 4 1 2 less than 0 we go here when both arrows come at the same place we stop so here we did not find anything now let's look at uh, this minus 1 0 1 2 let's uh, look at take minus 1 as the i and iterate here now what will happen minus 1 minus 1 2 Yes, this is 0. So we have found one answer. One answer is minus 1 minus 1, 2. If since both, since we have found the answer, we increase both arrows at the same time. We increase it here and decrease it here. Now 0, 1, minus 1. Again, we found 1. So minus 1, 0, 1. Again, we increase and again, they are out of bound. So we stop here. Now we look at minus 1, 0, 1, 2. So now we fix minus 1 and go from here to here. Now the arrows start from here and here. Minus 1, 0, 2. No, there is, this is not correct. And uh, after this, it is uh, greater than 0. So we go back. So minus 1, 0, 1. Minus 1, 0, 1, yes, we also insert again. But because we are inserting in the set, set does not duplicate it. Set only keeps only the one copy. Now we decrease and this is end. Now for 0, 1, 2, everyone can see we will never get sum as 0 because both are all are positive values. Or all are like 0 is 0, but 1 and 2 are greater than 0. So you can quickly see this and this, it will not work. So final answer is this only so that is how we will do it i have quickly explained it if you have further doubts you can comment in the video in the interest of time i'm doing it little fast now let's do the following now there is one thing you must i may have missed that we first have to sort the array to for two pointer approach to work we should sort the array so let's sort it
after this now we will just remove this completely and we take bath and j equals to i plus 1 and k equals to n minus 1 and while j is less than k what should we do here while j is less than k we take the sum nums of i you can see uh, i is fixed and j and k will move now if sum is equal equals to 0 then we have found one answer so now we insert in the set this vector now if you notice we don't have to sort the vector again because it is already sorted or I think we can instead of writing this we can directly insert like this as well in the set okay now else and here also after inserting what should we do we should increase the j and decrease the k else if sum is less than 0 then we should increase the j else we should increase the k and when j until j is less than k this loop will run so this will make sure we will find all the pairs now let's remove this code completely and now what we have to do we just iterate over the set and push all the triplets in our final answer let's run this So this is working, let's submit it. Okay, there is some issue we get. Some address sanitizer, I think what we are doing wrong here, let's, let's quickly look at that. Okay, let me try to remove this and submit. Okay, same issue. See, again, this is why I want to solve these uh, questions live in the class. So that you can see uh, there could be some errors, uh, weird errors. So the, now we will see how do we tackle them. It could be because of last executed input. Okay, if this is the input, let's see. One, two, this is how you can debug. Hmm, so this part is giving us the error. So after sorting, see we have found the test case, oh it should be not k plus plus, it should be k minus minus. Yeah, let's submit it now. Yep, we finally got the correct answer. And let me add M% here. What this M% will make sure is, this will make sure that I do not create the duplicate copy of triplet. Okay, so with this, we have completed this question. Now you can quickly look at this. We first sort the uh, input and then we fix the i and then we run the two pointer approach on j and k. So J is I plus 1, K is N minus 1 and then this is all the two pointer thing and since the triplet uh, has to be unique 
we insert the answer into a set instead of a uh, vector directly so that set keeps the triplets unique and after that finally we push all the unique triplets in our answer vector okay so with that we are done with today's uh, th this video if there is any doubts drop it in the comment box and if you want to continue seeing this series you can subscribe to my channel and until then goodbye